Welcome back friends. Today we are going to paint a gingerbread house. Now you can use as many colors as you want on your gingerbread house, but make sure you have at least brown, black, blue, and white. You're going to need three brushes, your medium flat brush and your medium and small round brush. Don't forget to have your rag handy and a cup of water. And let's get started. We're going to start with our background. So for our background, we are going to create a very light blue sky. So to do that, I'm just going to take some blue and white paint mixed together and I'm going to pull straight lines down. Now, if you can see, I'm not going all the way down to the bottom. I'm stopping about an inch from the bottom. And I'm going to go all the way across my canvas, being sure that I'm leaving some streaky lines in the background. Now, without washing my brush off, I'm not even gonna dry it off, I'm just gonna use plain white paint. That way I can paint my, my ground. I definitely wanna make a cover over my blue, but I might add a couple of hills in here. So I'm just gonna add a wavy line that goes across my canvas. And I'm just gonna fill that in with white paint. Remembering I do have some blue on my brush and I just hit my sky, which also has blue on it. So you're gonna automatically get a light blue snow covered ground. Smooth that out and let it dry. When we come back, we'll talk about adding in our gingerbread house, our details, and of course, our little snowman and pine tree. My background is dry because it's a whole new day for me. I painted this last night and today, I'm gonna add in my gingerbread house and all of that fun. So I have just about every color, red, pink, yellow, green, purple, blue, white, and brown. Let's get started with our gingerbread house. Now your gingerbread house can be just about any shape you want. You want it to be rectangle-ish. Um, the more whimsical you want, the more tilted you want it to be. I'm actually gonna start with yellow paint and I'm gonna put my gingerbread house over here to the side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a rectangle-ish shape. So I'm gonna have the bottoms of it kind of curve inward. And I'm going to have it go all the way down about an inch below my sand line. So I'm making a nice thick yellow border. I'm going to fill it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to help this turn into more of a ginger color rather than bright yellow. So with my brown, I'm going to start on the edges just like I did the yellow. And then I'm just gonna kind of go up and down across. What's gonna happen is, is that my gingerbread color is gonna change slightly. I go from top to bottom and pull that color across. My edges are going to be just a little darker than the center yellow because I want my center to have a little bit of a highlight to it. Perfect. I'm going to wash that brush off. Now I'm going to add in my roof line. So my roof line is gonna be the same idea, but I'm gonna use just regular brown and I'm gonna make a triangle on the top. And paint that in. And this time I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow on my already dirty brush and I'm just gonna put it right here in the center. Pulling that color down, letting the top stay a dark brown. 
and wash that brush off. Now, while this is drying a little bit, I am gonna add a few trees over here. You can choose to do whimsical trees or pine trees, but I'm gonna add a little bit of both. With my small round brush, I'm gonna take brown paint and I'm gonna start by making a Y tree. And my Y trees are trees that I make all the time. They look like letter Ys to start with. You can always add a couple extra little Y pieces on it, but you don't have to get too crazy with the amount of branches you have with these trees. So this is going to have candy on it. So this will be my candy tree. My next one I'm gonna add is just gonna be a whimsical pine tree. I'm gonna use my medium round brush with brown paint and I'm just gonna create a triangle, tall and skinny with a rounded bottom. Paint that whole pick, uh, pine tree in. With my paintbrush still wet, I'm gonna grab some white paint and on one side, I'm just gonna add some white paint. Kind of pull that down, bringing it around to the other side where it's going to get just a little bit darker. I'm gonna do that exact same thing, but a little bit smaller and closer to my foreground. And this time, instead of adding white paint, I'm going to add yellow paint. Wash that brush off. Now I really want these areas to dry before I add in my next layers on top of my house and my trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on my peppermints on my tree. I always like to take my finger with white paint on it to make my circles. So at the top of my branches, I am going to create nice circles. We'll add our spiral of peppermint colors in there when those dry. While these areas are drying, let's add some details to our ground. First things first, I'm gonna take my baby brush and I'm gonna create a little bit of a light blue paint. So I'm gonna take some blue and some white and mix those together. I want a very, very, very light blue color. So a lot of white a little bit of blue. And I'm gonna create some shadows. So right underneath my trees, I'm just gonna make a couple of curved lines. So it looks like shadows. Same thing underneath this tree, I'm just gonna make a straight line. Kinda looks like there's a shadow coming off of my tree. And then in front of my house as well, I'm just gonna make a couple of these lighter blue lines just to show that there might be a shadow there. And I'm gonna make my pathway. So my pathway I'm gonna make with gumdrops and you can make these any colors you want, but all I'm gonna do is take my paintbrush, my little small brush, and I'm gonna make ovals. And I'm going to do them somewhat randomly. So I'm gonna start with my red ovals first. Maybe I want two of those, but you know, I might want three pink ones and that choice is yours.
also a great time for me to add some snowflakes in my sky. So I'm gonna use the back of my paintbrush with some polka dots and I'm just gonna add some snow into my background. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let my painting dry. And when I come back, I'm gonna add the rest of my details. First things first, I am gonna add a small chimney to the top of my house. Now, like I said before, this is a gingerbread house, so nothing has to be straight or nice and neat. So I'm gonna make my chimney kind of curved off to the side. I'm gonna start with white. And I'll come back and add some more details in a minute. I'm gonna outline the top of my roof line with white as well. And I'm gonna put this paint on really nice and thick because this is gonna be my snow. Now, to make this look a little bit more like snow, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna start at the top and just kind of squiggle down a little bit. A little random. Some are gonna be longer, some are gonna be shorter. You can group some together and leave some spaces open. And then up on my roof line, I am gonna add some scallop lines. So I'm gonna take my baby brush, with a little bit of white paint on it, and right up here, I'm gonna make some scalloped lines that go all the way across my house. And I'm gonna fill in the whole top part of my gingerbread house with these scalloped lines. Inside of those scallop lines, I'm going to add little red polka dots. I really think that gingerbread houses could not have enough candies on them. I could make these rainbow colored, blue, any color I want really. Now I'm going to move on to my door. My door is gonna be all the way down here at the base and I'm gonna make my door a bright green color. So I'm actually gonna start with yellow. And you know your door can be a rectangle or it can be an arch, it could be a double door. You have so many choices for this, but I'm gonna make mine an archway. And I'm gonna add my green on there. Before I'm finished with my door, I'm gonna wipe that brush off, and grab a little bit of white paint, and I'm just gonna put some white paint right down here at the bottom. I'm gonna take that big brush that I have and just pull that white paint up. I can add a small window, maybe a heart, maybe a circle. I'm gonna make mine a peppermint small window and a little doorknob now I'm gonna add some windows on my gingerbread house and I've got a ton of space for windows I'm gonna put my windows right up here, nice and tall. I'm just gonna start with rectangles that are like the same as my house, where they go in a little bit more narrow at the base. And remember, we're painting icing. So if you have a little bump or a drip, you can actually just accentuate that so it looks a little bit more like 
you've got snow or icing dripping. Of course, we have to add decorations to these. So what colors are we gonna wanna put around our window? I'm gonna put some purple dots right across the bottom edge of my window. I think I'm gonna add a nice big red heart right up here at the top. This red looks a little dark on the brown, so I'm gonna grab just a little bit of white paint and add it in. I don't really want a pink, pink heart, but I definitely want it to stand out a little bit more than that red. I'm going to go around my heart just on the inside and I'm going to add the smallest little dots that I can. I'm going to add a small purple line on the right side of my windows. So it kind of looks like there's a shadow going on. So it's gonna go all the way down on those and then when I go across, I'm gonna jump over. Now I need to add a few more decorations to my house. I could think about adding candy canes up by my front doors. I can add gumdrops around my house. What kind of ideas can you come up with for your house? I'm gonna do some gumdrops right around the door of my house. So these are gonna be little scallops or little half ovals. And I do want these to be in a pattern. Sometimes I don't mind the pattern like my pathway, but I think for these I do want them in a pattern. Now, to make these look a little more realistic, I'm gonna take my white paint and just kind of put a highlight at the top of them. I like to think of candies as being shiny and sugary, so that little highlight of white paint at the tops of all of these is gonna help with that. I'm also gonna do that on all of my stepping stones. I am always a fan of gingerbread houses that have the wavy lines that go across them just because it breaks up some of that brown that we have. I'm 
I'm gonna take my light blue paint on my finger and I'm just gonna add a few little buttons on here. Tilt you up a little bit so you can see my chimney. For my chimney, I'm going to add a few of red swoops on it. And of course, I have to have some smoke coming out of the top. So a little bit of white paint and some squiggly lines down. I'm gonna add a candy cane out front. With some small red stripes. For those, I'm just gonna lay my brush down and pick it up over and over and over. If you need to wait till your white dries, feel free to wait till your white dries to do that. Yourself, what else can you add to your gingerbread house to make your scene look happy and cheerful? Maybe you want to add a few lines on your door so that your door looks like a wooden door. Maybe you want to add a little bit of snowfall at the top of your door by just dabbing on some white paint. Maybe you want to cover up anything at the bottom you don't love with just some chunks of white paint. Maybe you're going to add a snowman. I think I'm going to add a few gumdrop bushes outside of mine and make some nice big purple straight lines with a big old bump on top. Maybe I'll make a pinkish purple one over here. Another purple one right next to it. And with a little bit of white paint on the back of my brush, I'm just gonna add the little sugar spots on top. As I'm adding my final details to my gingerbread house, I want to remind you to make sure you always sign your artwork. Be sure that you send it to us on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose, so we can see what you're making with us. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you are kept up to date with all of our latest tutorials. Don't forget to stay safe, stay kind, and stay creative. Thanks for painting this fun gingerbread house with me today. I wonder what else you're going to think about adding to your gingerbread house. I can't wait to see them.